Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at a RetroPie image for the Raspberry Pi 4. This is the 128GB Nostalgia Trip by Damalso. Now one thing I can tell you right off the bat, when we jump into the arcade section, it's going to look very familiar. You're going to see lots of games that are currently playable on a Raspberry Pi 3. But there are a few standout titles that did struggle on the Raspberry Pi 3 and that play just fine on the Raspberry Pi 4. So let's highlight a couple of those really quick. The first game I like to mention is Dorako Tenshi, The Fallen Angels. Now this game had heavy slowdown and lots of sound stuttering on the Raspberry Pi 3 and also the B+, even when it was overclocked. On this image, you can see it is running just fine. Another game I'd like to highlight is The Martial Masters. So this is a game, even though it was playable on the Raspberry Pi 3, I always noticed lots of slowdown. It would dip to about 55 frames. In this, it's running at an even 60 FPS. So this game right here is called the Night Slashers. I had this on one of my images and I noticed there was a lot of slowdown. So as you can see, this is running just fine. So moving on to some of the systems to the right, we have Atari 7800. We have 58 games here in this library. To the right of that, we have our Atomus Wave. We have nine games here. We have some standout titles such as Dolphin Blue. We have Fist of the North Star. We have Guilty Gear. We have Knights of Valor 2. We have some King of Fighters. And we have a very obscure fighting game called the Rumblefish 2. Next up we have our Dreamcast section with 16 games. I noticed a lot of these games did have difficulty running at 100%. I did also struggle getting some games to start up because the memory card was not functioning properly. That's probably something I will need to tinker with on my own. Get ready, fire! So next up is our family computer system. These appear to be 8-bit titles. And we have about 100 games in this lineup. We also have family disc system with 140 titles. These appear to be Japanese games. Next up we have our Sega Game Gear with 248 titles. After that is our Game Boy with 565 titles. After that, we have a thousand games of Game Boy Advance. After that, we have our Game Boy Color game with 535 titles. What I can tell you this so far, what I would recommend to Damaso is going into the es underscore systems.cfg file and just maybe rearranging the order, maybe putting Game Boy Color in between Game Boy and Game Boy Advance. After that, we have a Genesis Hacks section. So it does feature NHL 20. Now I did notice when I went to this image it did have a slight hiccup and I can tell because the picture that he's using right there it is a custom picture it is a very high resolution picture. What I recommend doing is downscaling that to maybe under I don't know under a hundred kilobytes. We also have Xeno Crisis right here. This is a very fun game I did play this on stream. We also have some Streets of Rage 2 hacks. It appears right here we have a Batman and Superman hack. And we also have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles hack. After that we have Sega Master System with 277 games. We have our Genesis Collection with 765 games. Up next we have our Nintendo 64, 304 games. Now I tested out some of these games and they are not performing at 100%. 
My recommendation is to just give it some time. Eventually we might see some improvement on some of these games as we see development for the Raspberry Pi 4 get better. After this we have our Naomi section. Once again I would recommend grouping this right next to the Atomus Wave and Dreamcast games. So I'll show off some Marvel vs Capcom 2 footage and you guys will be the judge. So in my opinion, it is playing a little bit slow. Once again, this is a system I think with time we will see a little bit more improvement on. We also have some games here, some 2D fighting games that you've never seen before, something like Melty Blood. So definitely an image worth exploring. You're going to find something you've never played before on this image. Up next, we have our Neo Geo section, 140 of the games you're very much familiar with. After that, our Nintendo Entertainment System, 776 games. After that, 35 Nintendo hack games. Once again, if you haven't had a chance to check it out, there is the Deadpool game. After that, we have our PC Engine CD system with 23 games. A game definitely worth checking out. This is a like an indie title. It is called FX Unit Yuki. Definitely check that out. Up next, we have our PC Engine section, 274 games. Once again, these are games that are already playable on the Raspberry Pi 3, but it is good to have everything all on one image. After that, PCFX. Now this system is not playable on the Raspberry Pi 3. A very standout title is, I call it Zenki for short. It appears it's based off an anime. I've played it a few times on stream. I highly recommend checking it out and make sure you enable 6 button support. After that we have our power section right here. This has a shutdown and a system restart script. After that is our PSP section. A lot of these games do run A-OK. -okay. The only thing is they run at about one times render resolution. So they will come out highly pixelated. Once again, with performance increase in the future, we may be able to bump that up. So let's show off a little bit of Blaze Blue. So a very stylish looking 2D fighter, very ahead of its time for the PlayStation Portable. Probably one of the best graphic looking games for that system. If you got the time and energy, definitely sink in some time learning this game because this company is still coming out with these types of games. Once again, before I forget, I would like to mention, this could all have not been possible without the Supreme team. This is using the Supreme base image. It can be found on their website. They can also be found on Facebook under the group name Supreme Retro Pie. So shout out Cinnamon, thank you so much for making this possible. Up next we have our PlayStation system, 50 games. A lot of games that you're already familiar with. One game that I tested was Tekken 3. It did run at full speed just fine. Once again we have our options section. So this has a host of scripts to choose from including your background music section. It has your show IP, it has a splash screen section and a host of other tools. Definitely dive in there and get lost in there. After that is our Sega 32X, 30 games. Up next is our Sega CD, 33 games. Lots of titles to choose from and get lost in. After that is 125 Super Famicom games. These are the Japanese Super Nintendo games. 783 Super Nintendo games. One thing I want to point out, I believe this is the first time Damaso is using video snaps in his image. So congratulations, great job on implementing this in your system. After that, 19 Super Nintendo hacks. 
It appears it does have the new Super Mario Land game. After that on our list is our Super Graphics. This is a very small library. About five or six games only came out for this system. Up next are Turbo Graphics 16. These are the American versions of the PC Engine games. 96 games in this library. After that, 23 Virtual Boy games. Then we have our all game section, a total of 7,749 games in this massive 128 gigabyte build. Once again, shout outs to Damaso and the Supreme team for all their hard work in putting this together. Make sure to find us on Arcade Punks. Make sure to find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash level one online. You can find me in the group RetroPie Official. You guys have a good one. Take care.